So how is it going, Dank Division? Dank Dan here, and picture it, if you will. You're playing Call of Duty for the first time in a while, you hop on for a match. Of course you have a proximity chat as a wonderful thing, and you start running around. You hear someone start to insult you, telling you to land your shots. You tell them to go fuck themselves. And all of a sudden, the game kicks you and permabans you for toxic behavior. Now that sounds like a nightmare, but it may soon become a reality. Why? Because news has been circulating that Activision is going to be working together with a company called Caltech. And their intentions are to create an AI system intent on combating toxic behavior. Now, let's face it, we all know that in the past, Call of Duty has had rather interesting lobbies. And let's face it, we've heard every word in the book, words to start with N, uh, people getting called retarded, people being told to get good, eat shit, kill yourself, I'm going to fuck your mother, and I'm going to fuck your dad to assert my dominance entirely in your family. Just, just to name a few phrases that you might hear while playing this game. But... This is the problem, because from what has been pieced together, it sounds like this AI and research is going to be done over the next two years before potentially being implemented into Call of Duty. Now, let's face it, we just got proximity chat in Warzone 2, and let's face it, it is one of the most entertaining things of all time. It has created a new form of entertainment for people to have, ranging from trash talking to just having a conversation about your day before you blindly shoot at each other. But to have an AI that is about to pretty much decide what is toxic. See, that's where the problem is. What is toxic? Let's face it. Yeah, the N-word with the hard R on the end. Sure. Someone getting called retarded is, to some people, up for debate. Asking someone, uh, were your parents siblings? And if so... Why do you sound like you're the ugliest one in the family? I enjoy original insults, so I guess that's not going to be a thing. What about for the people who just want to say the most out-of-pocket thing, like, do you guys like egg salad? Just randomly in chat. What is toxic? Because if you're going to let an AI decide, the problem is an AI is going to have two years to decide what's toxic and what's not, but then that comes down to the court of public opinion. And the court of public opinion is the most fickle piece of shit that has ever existed. Meaning something that might be okay a year ago is now not okay. Something that was widely loved can all of a sudden become extremely hated. I hate to put it in this light. Let's put it this way. If Let's take someone like Ryan Reynolds. Someone that we all collectively love... Let's face it, every straight man is gay for Ryan Reynolds. He gets into a scandal, all of a sudden the internet just snaps, turns on him. That's how quick the court of public opinion can change. So the thought of an AI having full control of determining, hey, you're not allowed to say that. I just told someone to stop camping in the corner like a bitch. You're really going to ban me for that? Or better yet... I told someone that they didn't play the objective and that they should maybe get their head out of their ass. So, I want to hear in the comment section down below. What are your thoughts on this pair-up of having an AI having control of what you can say in-game? Because let's face it, trash talking has been a part of COD since day one. It's a part of just any competitive thing, even when you're playing casual. There's something about trash talking both your teammates as well as your opponents just for the entertainment. That's part of the life experience, having a little bit of trash talking. But I want to hear in that comment section down below your thoughts on all of this. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to click that subscribe button, drop a like, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to follow us on all of our socials because I have to say that here now because apparently Twitter is uh, really against you f having anything to do with your socials anywhere else and all of you out there you guys have a wonderful day night whatever you're doing do it wholeheartedly i'm getting back to shipment so i can finish uh, maxing out certain guns and this is dank dan signing off Get
on the click that subscribe button deck is the only way we can figure out the numbers. What did the numbers mean, Dick? We're wasting valuable time.